What up, YouTube viewers, and welcome to Jesus Straws. I'm Jesus, and in today's video, I'm actually out in public. Got for this mask. I'm a little old. Gotta swap this out. Alright. So, in today's video, hitting up this thrift store, the Goodwill, the Will of Good, and try to find a canvas that complements my style. Or basically, I'm just gonna customize a canvas that I find and see how that turns out. I always wanted to do this, but never actually found like a piece that really stuck out. But you know, I think I was being too picky. I think this one, just gonna have to let it be. Figure something out. We are here by the good wheel. Bow, 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 bow. Oh shit, that might actually be a good one. Something like that. Mm -hmm. What to choose? What to choose? Kind of like the ones with the... Oh, something like this. Try some UFOs or something. Not bad, let's peep out this art stuff over here. My feet, skinny ass feet. Oh shit. Let's see what this is. Store. Walking back to the wheel. About to drive. Don't gotta be smelling my breath. See the mountains. Oh man, I can't carry these with one hand. With a boat. Two weeks, I'm gonna start driving. Oh shit, and just like that. Look at this old school shit I gotta do. I can't get rid of this car. This shit gonna be so dope. So let's take this shit inside. Alright, so with this first one, I really like the texture that this creates right here. So I'm gonna paint over this. I'm gonna keep the hands for what I'm thinking. Let's keep those hands and put this around it. So that shit's gonna be dope. And this next one, like I said, is by C. Rankin. So C. Rankin, if you're watching this, just know that your pace is going to be customized. And the reason I picked this one is like, I can't paint like this, this is really good. It's like simple, but you know, it, it looks like a photograph and whatnot. Like a, like a painting filter, so this is dope. I'm gonna throw my cartoon style on that, but we're actually gonna get started with this one. Ah, uh, gentle ladies and men, here starting off with this piece. The famous Michelangelo on whatever church this is in. It's like on the ceiling or something. It's called Creation of Adam. That's Adam about to come in contact with God or something, I believe. 
I don't know, I have to do my research after this video more on this. If I even decide to, but like all creative projects, sometimes, you know, they go a little bit different than what you originally planned. And this definitely happened with this one. I thought instead of filling out the whole page and making it white, I decided I would just do half of it and make it kind of look like a notebook. It made me think of the whole idea of the left side of your brain being more logical and your right side of the brain being uh, creative. So that was the idea behind this collaboration. So I'm basically collaborating with Michelangelo. Yo, that's huge, bro. Now it's only uh, the portion of it. It's not the whole piece. It's just a close up of their hands coming in contact. So the right side, the more creative side of the brain is just the little doodles that I used to do. Like if I had homework or had to take notes during class on a notebook, I would just be doodling, bro. I would not be taking notes. I mean, I would sometimes if the teacher was you know, straight up hating, bro. She was dissing in front of the whole class. I did not see a single word on your notebook paper. All I see are drawings. There's, and sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I would do it on homework and stuff. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it wasn't. For my grade overall, at least. But these are just random ones and I usually never had markers on deck when I used these. I always had big pens which came in red, blue, or black. But yeah, that's the right side right here. Straight up more cartoony, creative side, I guess. Thinking outside the caja, the box. So we got these random little doodles, thought I'd put five up top and five on the bottom just to kind of balance it out. So drew these two extra, little banana tape to the notebook, and then Rose had to throw in another flower. Always gotta draw a rose whenever I do these types of doodle videos or drawings. And then the banana. The famous banana taped on the canvas for however thousand dollars it was. But yeah, I used a marker, not a uh, brush. And decided to do this cool little stipple effect to kind of make the logical side pop out a little bit more. Make it look 3D, kind of cool. I was thinking about doing it to the other ones, but I thought, nah. I'm kind of make a little, throw things off a little bit. And I haven't been in school for probably four years now, more than four maybe. So I had to Google up some complicated equations. I don't even know what they mean. I just know E equals MC squared. I don't even know what they stand for. Energy equals matter squared, right? E matters and what's the c stand for see i don't even know man but anyways i know i just jumped right into this second one but we're gonna do zoom ups and close ups and all that at the end of the video so this second one this has a signature by c rankin like i said and i looked this dude up on the internet i don't remember what his name was his first name was but he's out there and this is definitely one of his pieces because the styles that he has posted on there are definitely like this one and I need a style like this to complement mine to really bring both styles out so I think they both work really well so C ranking bruh if you're watching this bruh and you're trying to collab hit me up I can do something cool but I'll try to do some realistic stuff like this. But it's gonna take some time once I get, you know, more practice with acrylics. I've only been doing this for a while. Not too long, not even a year. 
and eventually but for now we collabing on thrift store art and here we got to see Rankin with Hazel Straws collab 2020 what and got these UFOs with a squid randomly just popping out of nowhere this freaking squid is just like blown away at the sight of UFOs bro on her nation, ain't nobody gonna believe this when I get back home. <laughs> I, I don't know, he has like a hillbilly accent, I guess. And I don't know, maybe the aliens or something were abducting his homies back in the barn. Because you'll see more towards the end, and it made it look like there's a beam of light abducting some barn animals. Yeah, I thought it turned out pretty cool. I really like this collab. I actually really want to do another one of these videos. So I'm going to be hitting up the thrift stores. And if I see some other cool stuff that I can do, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos. So be expecting a lot of that in the future. So subscribe if you want to see that. But use the marker again and wrapping this up. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like. Let me know which one you like better, which one's cooler to you, what other ideas would you have done on these canvases. And these are just some close-ups of them. Personally, I like the C ranking collab. It just it's just cool, man. It just they just complement each other so well. But anyways, drop a like, drop a comment, don't forget to share, don't forget to keep creating, keep the peace, keep the love, keep creating. Peace and love to everyone. Don't forget to stay safe. Till next time. Have a good night. Adios.